Some things which are, are pretend that things which are arbitrary are not arbitrary, but uh, actually is to make a mistake. You are making that mistake. So we're drawing a line. Yeah, we're drawing a line between. We agree with you that you should draw the line with compassion, right? That's right. But we should not draw the line with uh, uh, dogmatism, where dogmatism is not. Uh, are right killing animals unnecessarily? Is that? We agree on that. No, we are, but we agree that we should not kill animals unnecessarily. Yeah, we agree on that. So that is the whole that's, foundation that's of veganism. That's veganism. You no, disagree with veganism. veganism. That is totally no, no, your you see, no, no, you see, you see, for example, you see, why is it not veganism? Because human beings are only in a very, we are living in a very tiny island if you look at the history of the space. And if you look at the whole of human existence as a space in the field, we live in a very tiny island. Very, this particular place, very tiny place, is highly, highly privileged. The principles that apply to life here are not extrapolatable outside of this very, okay, very privileged I, domain. I just say, you understand this? Well, okay, two things. Right. You as an individual can make a choice. You don't have to be yeah. dictated yeah, by everybody that. else. Uh, yeah. And actually, yeah, we're, we're privileged in this little island that you talk about to consume animals because in the most in yeah, deprived yeah. countries that. in the world, they actually live on a vegan diet because most of that is beans, yeah, uh, depends, rice, you know, well, depends on where you are. Sort of I agree, I agree. Depends on where you are, yeah. of course. Depends on where you are. In some places, you have only animal protein and you have to have that. For example, in the Eskimo, right? there's no, you know, in the, in the, in the tundra, you have to have not animal protein. Yeah. I mean, you have to have animal protein. You can't have. Well, you're not in the tundra. No, what no. you do? Yeah, yeah. You but don't need animal protein. I agree. No, you can I, go I, get I have one based protein not, and no, get all I'm your not, nutrition. I have said to you that I said we have agreed that those people who have the choice should exercise the choice on the side. Yeah. And you, you, you all have the choice. So are you no, making that choice? But, but you are, are you making that choice? I avoid animal protein. Like that, but I don't actually. I'm not a big fan. Why not? Because I don't think it's a. I don't think it's an option. That needs to be adopted. Why? You just said you just said it was. You had the choice. I said, yeah, so I, 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 I don't think it's an absolute. I, I think that it, eating 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 animal protein is bad for the quality. It's bad. The quality of farming are bad. The, the, the environment, the, the, uh, uh, the economical arguments against it are bad. It's generally bad. I yeah. agree. Right. Uh, however, but you're still not adopting. I don't understand no, your completely no, 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 all, 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 no, all of these arguments are what we would call not absolute arguments. So if the circumstances are different, then it would be okay. But they're not different. They are yeah, different. All the time. They're not you, you different. You yeah. are yeah. the point. You have an abundance of other products. I've said to you. I've said to you. I, I hardly ever eat the fact that I hardly ever eat the I do eat the fact that. Right. So, I'm not very distant from where you are, but I do not think that you, you must realize, you must see what I'm saying, that this is, you are, you are, you are adopting something as an absolute principle, which is not absolute principle. That's what we are arguing against. Remember, when I started with you, remember when I started with this lady here, I said that there are a lot of suffering happening, which we are against, and you can get a lot of this protein from plant-based. So, I don't know that I don't or us here discussing, we're yeah, not against. Yeah. We're not against the idea of just consuming plant-based diet. What we're saying, your whole argument, like here, yeah, yeah, look at look at his argument here. S H I T S. Apparently, well, that's, that's his position. But he's got an individual. He can good, he good. can argue it however so he wants. We can that, argue sure. it however we want. But it's you important, can... though, if you are going to bring an argument forward, you bring an argument for the good reasons, yeah. rather than your okay. emotional reasons. Yeah. You know, relative moral standard reasons and so Bring something that is solid. Don't, he, he's bringing the, the solid argument. Maybe he's presenting it emotionally. No, no, no. But that's the semantics so of it. So far we have discussed. No, there was a no, no, because and everything... This is why sorry, can I just... Everything that you said to me, you're agreeing with veganism. No, but not agreeing with veganism. You are. No. You what is veganism? <laughs> this ideology of veganism, what is it? It's saying that in no circumstances should you eat meat. You see, you're confusing your ideology with what you do. So if you look up, if you look up the definition from be as veganism, what is veganism with with regard to the vegan society? No, what is a veganism? What, what is, is it? it? Yeah, it's it's removing the exploitation of animals no, in your no. life. What is the difference between? Okay, let me ask. Okay. What is the difference between veganism and vegetarianism? There is a difference. 
that precisely explain the, the difficulty. Tell me what the difference what, what, what do you mean? Well, say you're being vegan and a vegetarian. Vegetarian well, a vegetarian. is a diet. So it's, it's consuming What's no the meat. Difference? What's the difference between veganism? Veganism, veganism is understanding that we're not sacrificing anything by not consuming these products. We're just not taking... You had Google in your phone before? No. So if you don't know, don't know, do you know the difference? Any, but I can tell you what the difference is. But you don't you know the difference between the two. I, I know the difference. But you can, I'm, you I'm still explaining the difference okay, to you. So we don't consume any animal products whatsoever. So that's diet. That's also in terms of what we consume by way of when we're purchasing, for example, clothing. Vegans don't buy anything that was made using leather, wool, down, because of those industries. And vegetarians are willing. I'm sorry? Yeah. And vegetarians are willing. What? Vegetarians just don't eat meat. Yeah. So that's they, they will eat. They will, they will eat. They will, they will, they will use they'll leather for the shoes. Yeah. 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 And eat eggs. It's the direct slaughtering of animals that they're opposed to. Whereas veganism goes a step further and says, okay, any indirect right. slaughtering so of animals saying, for any reason, or exploiting animals in any way, where it is practically possible to do so, you remove them from your okay, life. So now I'm saying I'm that. Saying even, and I have the capacity. Even, it's not about exploitation. Even the animals were... Uh, let me tell you then. Uh, let me address this point. Suppose all the animals were not exploited. Would you then say you don't need to be vegan? Well, how well, can you how can you use them? an animal, eat them, and eat their byproducts, and wear them, and say you're not exploiting them? You're that doesn't make any Suppose you don't wear, you don't make any byproducts from animal origin. No, no, but you eat them. You're eating them. Yeah. So eating is exploitation. Why is it? No, no, no. Let's understand that. So you're using the animal. Back to the same circles again. Are you saying eating is exploitation? Why isn't it? When you're taking, it's taking away life, the life exploitation. Of an animal, yes. Yeah. So when you took a life of bacteria, were you com com committing exploitation? Bacteria isn't sentient. It doesn't no, have a sense of meaning. No, it's not about life anymore. Back to regard, no, no, regarding, regarding exploitation. There is, there is a line to draw, and that's our, the, the line as far as veganism is concerned is if the animal is sentient and if it has a sense of meaning. I don't want to be on this camera. The central nervous like system. Right if it has the capacity to suffer, if it has the capacity to feel pain, then I, I said that to you before. Why exploit it? And if he doesn't want to, please don't. Then don't exploit it. We don't need to. It's not necessary. Full stop. Why do it? You see how the goalpost shifts. Nothing shifts. Nothing shifts. Look, look. Uh, regarding the exploitation. Uh, say that an animal would not exist, and this is two of this is standard farming argument. I mean, I don't, I'm not going by it to say, but it is actually just true to an extent that there are a whole bunch of animals who would not exist, but for human beings, yeah. wishing to exploit them, in yeah. the sense that they're And it, but that, that includes it, not just farmed animals, but domesticated no, no, animals no, like cats and dogs. So if, if there are animals who would not exist, it doesn't want to. and who are living a very good life, in accordance with our understanding of what is good for we research it and give them as close to an optimal life as we can. But then we eat them. Uh, they live a better life than they would in the wild. Why is that expected? Because ultimately, at the end of the day, like we said, you're still taking away the life of an animal that does not consent so, to that, so the life of an animal that wants to live. But animals but don't give consent. Animals can't. Be justified. Animals can't animals, okay, so just as bacteria do not have pain, in bacteria's the sense. Bacteria's got no relevance. I've not finished this. I've got analogy, with analogy. Pain. I'm it's giving an analogy. Allow me. Just as bacteria do not have pain, so animals in general do not have the capability to make the kind of choices that you're suggesting. Okay? They can't give consent. Animals are like, oh, Exactly. Yeah. That's so our argument. The, idea, the, idea, the idea of consent does not apply to animals. The concept of consent does not apply in those circumstances where a being is incapable of making given consent. So, so you say, oh, they didn't give. Your argument is, oh, they didn't give.